As Archbishop of Constantinople, New Rome, Ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew occupies the first throne of the Orthodox Christian Church worldwide, presiding in historical honor and fraternal spirit among all Orthodox primates. These include the ancient Patriarchates of Alexandria, Antioch and Jerusalem, as well as the more recent Patriarchates of Moscow, Serbia, Romania, Bulgaria and Georgia. Beyond these, the Ecumenical Patriarch has the historical and theological responsibility to initiate and coordinate activity among the Orthodox Churches of Cyprus, Greece, Poland, Albania, the Czech lands and Slovakia, Finland and Estonia, as well as various archdioceses and numerous metropolitan dioceses throughout the world, such as in America, Australia and Europe. Moreover, he is responsible for convening pan-Orthodox councils or meetings, facilitating inter-church and interfaith dialogues, while serving as the focal point and primary spokesman for the Orthodox Church and its unity as a whole. Transcending national and ethnic borders, the Ecumenical Patriarch is spiritual leader to more than 300 million Orthodox Christians worldwide. Born Dimitrios Archondonis in 1940 on the island of Imvros in Turkey, His All Holiness Bartholomew was elected in October 1991 as the 270th Archbishop of the 2,000-year-old church founded by St. Andrew. Serving as Archbishop of Constantinople, New Rome and Ecumenical Patriarch. The personal experience and theological formation of the Ecumenical Patriarch provide him with a unique perspective on ecumenical relations and environmental issues. His All Holiness has worked tirelessly for reconciliation among Christian churches, acquiring an international reputation for raising environmental awareness throughout the world. He has worked to advance reconciliation with the Roman Catholic Church and the Anglican Communion, as well as other confessions, through theological dialogues and personal encounters with their respective leaders in order to address issues of common concern. Closely involved with the World Council of Churches, he has served on its executive and central committees, as well as its Faith and Order Commission. Moreover, he has initiated numerous international meetings and conversations with Muslim and Jewish leaders in an effort to promote mutual respect and religious tolerance on a global level, thereby proving a pioneer in interfaith encounters throughout the world. Finally, the Ecumenical Patriarch has also presided over the historic restoration of the Autocephalous Church of Albania and the Autonomous Church of Estonia, providing spiritual and moral support to many traditional Orthodox countries emerging from decades of wide-scale religious persecution behind the Iron Curtain. A citizen of Turkey, Ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew received his elementary and secondary education in Imvros and Istanbul. After completing undergraduate studies at the Theological School of Halki in Istanbul, His All Holiness pursued graduate studies at the Pontifical Oriental Institute of the Gregorian University in Rome, the Ecumenical Institute in Bosse in Switzerland, and the University of Munich. Ordained to the diaconate in 1961 and to the priesthood in 1969, his All Holiness served as Assistant Dean at the Theological School of Halki from 1968 to 1972 before being appointed Personal Secretary to his predecessor, the late Ecumenical Patriarch Demetrius, as well as being elected Metropolitan of Philadelphia in 1973 and Metropolitan of Chalcedon in 1990. Ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew holds numerous honorary doctorates from prestigious academic institutions such as the Universities of Athens and Thessaloniki in Greece, Fordham, Georgetown and Yale in the United States, Flinders and Manila in Australasia, London, Edinburgh, Louvain, Moscow, 
and Bucharest in Europe. The role of the Ecumenical Patriarch as the primary spiritual leader of the Orthodox Christian world and transnational figure of global significance continues to grow increasingly vital. His All Holiness has co-sponsored international peace conferences, as well as meetings on the subjects of racism and fundamentalism, bringing together Christians, Muslims and Jews for the purpose of generating greater cooperation and mutual understanding. He has been invited to address the European Parliament, UNESCO, the World Economic Forum, as well as numerous national parliaments. To commit a crime against the natural world is a sin. For human beings to destroy the biological diversity of God's creation. For human beings to contaminate the Earth's waters. Its land. Its air. And its life. All of these are sins. Ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew has organized eight international, interfaith and interdisciplinary symposia, as well as distinguished summits and seminars to address ecological problems in the rivers and seas of the world, initiatives earning him the title Green Patriarch and honoring him with several significant environmental awards. Your All Holiness, you have seen the excitement that your visit has generated among Americans of all faiths. Your eloquent teachings on the sanctity of the earth have won you the affectionate and respectful title of the Green Patriarch and have inspired many of us in our work on the environment. Ecumenical Patriarch Bartholomew's 25-year tenure has been characterized by inter-Orthodox cooperation, inter-Christian and inter-religious dialogue, as well as by formal trips to Orthodox and Muslim countries seldom previously visited. He has exchanged numerous invitations of church and state dignitaries. He has made multiple official visits to the United States as Ecumenical Patriarch and has been enthusiastically received in many parishes, cities and states around this country. In 1997, he was awarded the Gold Medal of the United States Congress. His efforts to promote religious freedom and human rights his initiatives to advance religious tolerance among the world's religions, together with his work toward international peace and environmental protection, have justly placed him at the forefront of global visionaries as an apostle of love, peace and reconciliation. On this, his 25th anniversary as our spiritual father and our ecumenical patriarch, we wish him many, many years.